Greetings and felicitations, YouTube. We are all of the Appian Way back again for Throwback Thursday. Let's see if I can't get myself eliminated this time around, shall we? That's right, I'm using the Unlock All Factions mod to play as Denmark in what has been one of the most difficult Total War campaigns I've ever played. Just. Spain wanted a piece of me. Sweden started out wanting to have a piece of me, which is fair. But the big one, Austria. Ugh, Austria. And their ridiculous line infantry unit blobs. Just, ugh. But I'm, I'm somehow surviving. I, I beat them back out of Copenhagen. I dismantled my fleet. I'm... Pretty much trying to just rewind everything back to where I started. I lost Amsterdam, but the Netherlands I did eliminate with that Alpha Strike to Amsterdam. But dang, this is what I'm looking at right now. I have an army again. It's mostly militia, but you know they can still hold a gun. They can still shoot bullets. The Swedish Navy has kicked out the Corlish Navy. That was the only thing keeping the Swedes out of Copenhagen. And that means there now is an army in place here. It's come and invade Denmark as soon as it wishes. Why is its movements indicating it can't come into Denmark? Is my army actually preventing their crossing? That'd be nice. I am working on repairing this school. I may, if I'm very lucky, get another thousand in trade income this turn. Depends on if, uh... <coughs> <coughs> Depends on if this, uh, provincial, uh, cavalry captain will let me. Or this provincial cavalry captain. Um... The real threat, of course, is, uh, Prince Eugen von Savoyen, who is currently quelling rebellions in the Netherlands, and I think that was the last rebellion that I'm gonna get there. If I can get London or Paris to just agree to go to war with Austria, that'd be wonderful for me right now. I am working on diplomatic relations with Great Britain. Um, France is, you know, they've been indifferent to me. But let's see, what kind of government am I? So I'm a constitutional mo Catholic, uh, Protestant uh, monarchy. Constitutional monarchy, Protestant. Which means Great Britain, you know, they're just like me. Um, Sweden... They, they don't like me at all. Um, if I'm gonna get my Scandinavian Empire rolling, I'm gonna have to get, I'm gonna have to knock out Sweden. There's just no way around it. Russia is still just indifferent to me. They used to be an ally, but it looks like it's just gonna, you know, different different government type is the only thing they care about at this stage. It's France, religious differences, different government type, for minus 15 indifferent score. Maybe I can get a non-aggression pact? Is that even sorry, declare war, state gift? No, I guess non non-aggression packs aren't in this game. Anyway. I think I'm at a turn end. I don't really see too much that I can actually do. Um Let's let's find my agents. They're roaming around somewhere. I have one here. Ah, yes, I've infiltrated... Uh, <laughs> I've infiltrated Austria. The... What, what, what classical university is? I've, inter I've infiltrated Graz. Let's go ahead and steal some technology from Graz, shall we? Oh, he's working on it. Okay, we're definitely at a turn end, because I've, I've... I don't think there's anything else I can do here, so let's go ahead and end that turn. Alright, Austria. There they come. Yep, they've closed off trade. They're damaging my farmlands. I'm also at war with Spain still. Yeah, great. Okay, looks like the Swedish fleet is just deciding to move out to raid some of my trading ships, even though none of them are actually moving right now. 
That's fine. It just means when I do, if I do take my port back, they'll just cut into my my income some. All right. So Arhus and the Jutland farmlands are done. Technology theft failed. Well, oh, failed so bad that he's. Oh, he probably just got kicked out of the university. That's fine. Get back in there. Steal some more research. Alright. Uh, are they working on. Yes, they are. Six more turns till that's done. Alright. Yeah, they can cross over now. That's what I thought. Oh boy. Alright, well, um, Sweden's making boatloads of money. I'm jealous. Very jealous. Mm. That's gonna turn. That's gonna turn things around. I can only make 400 here, which means uh, probably probably a cannon for some anti-infantry work because you just need the cannons when you're facing Austria. Which that's all my money, and that's the end of my turn. I hope my walls have been repaired. Did I remember to do that? Oh boy, uh, here comes another army. They're just marching all over my mainland now. This is this is delightful. Thanks, guys. Y'all are real, real troopers. If I can single them out, I might be able to beat them one after another. But then I just open the door for Sweden to come in. Speaking of, are you going to come in? No, they don't want to have anything to do with that army either. I've reached a stalemate at Copenhagen. That's all I've done. But without money, I'm pretty much going to be in this stalemate forever. So, they're forcing me to attack. They're basically, this is this is Copenhagen is besieged, just not the game, the way the game usually does a besieging thing. No, Barbary Coast, I don't want peace. I need that, I need war with you so I can have better diplomatic relations with everybody else. Alright. Technology theft failed, that's fine. Okay, everything is damaged. I'm going to have to move out to break this this siege of my of my country. So let's go do it. I don't have good odds, but I'm going to try anyway. I could have waited another turn for the second cannon, but I don't think it would have made that big of a difference. It's magnificent, but it's not war. Pierre Bosquet, French general, observing the charge of the Light Brigade on the 25th of October, 1854. I wonder what that was about. To Google. So 25th of October. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. What was it? 1854? Battle of Balaclava. During the Crimean War was part of a siege of Sevastopol to capture the port and fortress of Sevastopol, Russia's principal naval base on the Black Sea. Sounds interesting. Not to be confused with the Battle of Baklava, a a battle fought over deserts. So the engagement followed the earlier Allied victory in September at the Battle of Alma, where the Russian general Menshikov had positioned his army in an attempt to stop the Allies progressing south towards their strategic goal. Almost the first major encounter fought in the Crimean Peninsula since the Allied landings at Kalamita Bay on the 14th of September, but it was a clear battlefield success. Uh, but a tardy pursuit by the Allies failed to gain a decisive victory, allowing the Russians to regroup, recover, and, re and prepare their defense. And there's actually a painting, Charge of the Light Brigade, by Richard Caton Woodville Jr. It 
It's magnificent, but it's not war. So the, that was the Allied forces were United Kingdom, France, and the Ottoman Empire fighting Russia. 20,000 British. And yet only like 12, yeah, 1,200 people died in a battle involving more than 50,000. Huh. Interesting. Anyway. So I'm on the events here. Let's see what I can do. They have a cannon as well, so <clears throat> it's going to be up to my gun to try and silence their gun. They will deploy probably on one of those hills over here, even with the trees in their way. I'll have enough of the light in this. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just, I'm just coughing up a lung today. I'm going to go for right here. See what I can do with this position. And then infantry just line up ready to go, I guess. Could have to march them forward, but hey, no big no big deal. Let's get this show on the road. I'm going to control time. Let's see if I can't find their cannons. Set them back here. That's line infantry. Oh. Well, if they don't have any cannons I can see, I will gladly... Oh, there they are. I was about to say I'll gladly kill uh, cavalry. Looks like they're trying to take up positions along these walls, which is not a bad idea. I'm going to go ahead and move up. Kind of over this way. Oh, let's do this, boys. Yeah. In general, I'm just going to kind of keep them back here in the trees. All right, fast forward. Uh, looks like they're attacking. How many of my own men did I kill just there? One? Okay. Run, please. You know what? Okay. All right. Run, 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 run. Let's give them some gunfire if they really want it. Please. Please. Yes! Oh, that was a brilliant shot. Now we're talking. Alright, they're routing. I'm gonna go back to trying to kill off their artillery. With regular shot. I wasn't expecting them to charge. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're coming for me. All right. Feeling a little bold there, are we? Run, 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 run. Get that gun line in position. <clears throat> it's about to kick off. Cavalry's coming back. Go ahead and shoot that with artillery. So it begins. Oh, they're charging into melee. Okay. They do have superior numbers. That might be a problem on this flank. I think I'm just going to go ahead and have to swing back like so. That cavalry is protected by a hill. Hill.
Okay. We have good results over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to swing this out like that. Get some flanking shots on this group. Oh, I got some great hits from the cannons there. Holy cow. Oh, beautiful. Focus on their cavalry, then. Get that unit fall back. Move this unit up to help get flank shots on that line infantry. Yes! Oh, yes. Artillery is so good for cavalry. So these guys are just kind of hiding in these woods, but they're still presenting a flank to me. I think I'm going to have these guys... Oh, you know what? You... Just run back here real quick. Run. You... Give me some uh, grape shot into that infantry over there. It's snowing! Oh, delightful. That's right, they're moving up. And I'm going to grape shot them to death. Ah, oh, I love grape shot. It is so brutal. These guys can move up a bit. I'm going to put them in two ranks. Dang, this line infantry here in the woods is holding... So is this one. Austrian line infantry is tough. Just don't forget that. Alright, casualties caused by those cannons is starting to make these guys route. Or waver. There we go. Can my artillery reach this group? I should try anyway. I'm gonna pull them out of the way. Running. them fall back as well. Maybe I can convince those infantry to move up where they can be shot at. Yeah, they're moving up. No, 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 no. Shoot that group. Shoot that group. Okay, those guys routed. Whew. Let's get some close-ups of uh, this Austrian line infantry getting grape shot. They think, I think they realize it's a bad idea just to uh, come around the side of that tree line there. Alright. Backpack guy here. I'm dubbing him Dave the Austrian. Maybe the flag. Yeah, we'll make it the flag guy. Alright, flag guy. You gonna survive this battle? You're running away. Oh, nope. Nope, you tripped. You tripped and fell. That was the end of Flat Guy. <laughs> of Dave Flat Guy. Oh, just watching him fall over is great. Okay, there's more artillery. Or, no, more um, cavalry working their way up. Or, coming back at least. Who are you? And who are you? Cavalry changed their mind. Grape shot them, please. Okay. I think this battle's starting to swing in my favor. They made it a lot easier on me by by uh, by trying to seize their numbers advantage in melee and just charging my lines. There we go. What a volley. Good job, 3rd Regiment of Militia. Oh. There's, I hear more coming. Yep. Straight down my line isn't necessarily a good firing angle, but... Let's see what happens. Taking aim. 
returning fire. We also have a return of this group. Okay, there. We take care of. Okay, artillery got a shot off. I didn't kill off any of my own cannons or anything, so that's good. Firing angle is awkward, but it isn't so bad that I can't do it. So here's 73 to 77. They are wavering because they're under artillery attack. Come on, artillery. Don't let me down. Give me another good shot. I'm guessing only one is firing because of the angle, which I would prefer to them just killing themselves. Yeah, it's totally just the one firing. Okay. Okay. spread out that rank a little bit more. Get these guys into a flanking position. This is a group of 68 versus 67, but they're still the superior infantry. But not while they're getting that much artillery fire. They're going to rout eventually. There we go. Overlapping fields of fire. There you go. Okay, back to round shot. Target that provincial cav. Bring these guys back. Oh, got at least one good hit in there. These trees made for an awkward advance for them. I gave myself some long lanes here for the artillery to work with. Hey, it's snowing again. Anyway, my artillery can push that cavalry off the field. We'll be good. That's their general? No, that's more line infantry. They have so many infantry. Surprised I'm not routing that cavalry yet. Let's go ahead and fast forward, see what they're gonna do about it. Yeah, their cavalry's routing now. Well, if they're just gonna stand here in a perfect line, maybe I can get some really good cannonball shots into their unit. 124 of them? Let's find out. Protected by a tree, but if I get a cannonball right down this lane, these guys are ruined. That one missed. Near miss. Just hit the hillside. Ooh. So they're, they're defending these wall positions and they don't want to give them up. <coughs> it does make some sense. march up to about here. That'll be good. Fast forward. Because now I have the numbers, I can overwhelm them. Oh, I got a hit with one of my cannonballs. Got two of them. Done moving. Get their next order in.
Let's see if I can get some lucky artillery shots that will bounce into him. Happens every once in a while, but not likely. Okay. You, you, and you. Deploy here. Go ahead and run. You. Actually. There, please. Just like that. All of you, run. Now that we're here, get into position, tear them apart. Build the trap. We're going to take some fire in the meantime, but that's okay. Oh, they're starting to crowd just because their general fled recently. And yeah, they took one shot and they're like, okay, we're done. We're leaving. of them on their way out. Yeah, just got my artillery stop shooting now. Every Austrian dead here is one less Austrian to pillage and loot mainland Denmark, so I'm going to keep shooting until these guys are definitely not coming back. Yeah, some point blank volley there. guys fix bayonets in charge everybody else new mission <coughs> yeah, they're starting around now that's good news ah good they're routing we've done it and battle Heroic victory. No captain can do very wrong if he places his ship alongside that of the enemy. Lord Horatio Nelson, British Admiral. Hmm. So long as your guns are pointing the right way, you're you're mostly doing it right. You can't be super wrong. <laughs> All right. I only lost 258 men in that fight. March. March. Cannot afford to repair that. That is huge damage. Um, the army cannot chase from here. Okay, anyway. Um... Had to step away for a brief second. You probably won't even get any of that. I'll edit it out, but whatever. What I have here... That army is... Is that the end of their movement, really? They're not going to be able to reach me? Hmm. It's not showing me their movement ranges. Right? No, it can't be. That can't be accurate. I am going to move this... Army out this way. Try and block... Access to Copenhagen. I just don't want them marching around me. Um, anyway. Let's try that again. As for units, I don't have any units so small I can't field them. So I'm going to stick to these numbers for now. Let's end the turn. And watch everybody sail around my trade routes that I cannot use. I 
opportunity to intercept. I think I'd rather fight them all individually than um, in large pitched battles, because I think he's moving up, and then he'll move another army up, and then another army up. Fight me, you know, three to one. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to attack. I'm going to be very aggressive here. A popular government without popular information nor the means of acquiring it is but a prologue to a farce or a tragedy or perhaps both. Knowledge will forever govern in ignorance, and a people who mean to be their own governors must arm themselves with the power knowledge gives James Madison, 4th U.S. President. The state I grew up in, James Madison, uh, is a very popular figure. We have a university named after him. I actually, this is fun, I actually know an actor uh, who worked with me at, at, a, at a gig this past autumn at the Haunted House um, who specializes in specifically James Madison reenacting um, in the Philadelphia area. He says he would love to go down to Virginia, but he says that there's another James Madison reenactor down there who has that area, like, locked down. Even though he so humbly believes he is a better James Madison than that guy. I mean, don't we all think that we're better at what we do than somebody else? Especially if there's only, like... I mean, that's a pretty niche job, if you think about it. There are very few people who could be like, Well, yes, I specialize in reenacting specifically as one guy from American history. Anyway, that's the deal there. Now then, I have a building. I think I'm on the offensive, however. Snow has settled in. I still have my artillery. Uh, no clear lane of fire for artillery. I want to I wanna go here and give them these walls to play with. All right. Our artillery will start here. Command that much of the field at least. I'm gonna put my most injured group of. I can't deploy in it. Okay, I'm gonna put them right here. They'll just run into that building. And I'll do you four in this line. That's a good line. Okay. Do you two here? I'll use that wall. Keep the general probably back here behind the building. We'll use him as necessary. And let's go to slow mo. They are deployed right out in front of me. Get in there. You guys right there. You guys. I'll use this corner. Yeah, that's good. Actually, probably more on this end. Nope. Nope. Too much on that end. I just want... Yeah, whatever. That's the best one. Have these guys run. And... Let's start targeting their artillery. Right here. Right there. There we go. Here's another one over here, but... No, it's their own demi cannon. Okay. Put it into regular speed. I might have my general intercept this group. It's just a provincial cavalry. I'll wait until my guns from here are opening fire on them. Wherever the fight happens, it's gonna happen where my guns can make a difference. They're running past me. All right, it's not. That's not very nice. Man, their artillery is chewing me up. Attacking me, that's good news at least. Oof. I'm 
very lucky in that their artillery doesn't seem to have me dialed in. But I think I'm going to have to swap over to Grape Shot here. Start focusing on infantry. Alright, so I just had that unit form a square because I'm pretty convinced they're gonna they're gonna throw some cavalry at it. Interesting, they're putting everybody into this ditch here. It's fine. It's fine for now. Here they come. Alright. I'm gonna throw my general into that cavalry and hope for the best. Attack them, please. Attack them, please. Fix bayonets. Turn around. Turn around. Yeah, that got them to stop thinking about what they were doing. Okay. Alright, so they're going to be supported by that infantry. That's fine. Just spread this line out some. Run, 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 run. Do not want to form the square. Get back on the wall. Oh, here comes another cavalry. Uh-oh. 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 Open fire. Open fire. Open fire. Open fire. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it now. Do it now. Dang. Okay. Okay. It's not bad news bears yet. They got a shot off. Will add artillery crew. I'm going to need to push this advantage I have here. Because I need to swing around and support this support this group. All right, get back over here, guys. All right, so my artillery crew has been run off. Good job. These guys fought off some some uh, Austrian cavalry. This would be a bold move, but I'm going to go for it. Have them run up to that wall. These guys are just standing here in the woods getting shot. Oh, it's their light infantry in here to bring my... I'm actually playing to their strengths by uh, just trying to shoot them in the woods. They're spread out. They're good riflemen. Let's see how they handle a cavalry charge. Bayonets. Go. Use well. Bayonets. Go. Look at this point-blank business on the wall over here. Get in position, gents. There's 125 of them firing rifles at you at point blank, but we have the wall. <laughs> this is going to be gnarly. Oh, jeez. Oh, they have bayonets fixed still. Get up here. Put fire on that. These guys. Yes. Yes. All right. Just charge them out here. It's a small group, but they can help. Okay. I have progress over here. Get into that artillery unit. And then... These two units here. Swing around this flank. I only picked one. These two units here. Like so. I have them kind of surrounded with bullets. Fall back 
to that wall. Bring these guys to run into position. Oh man. I hope my general's winning this fight. Yes, he is. Push off the rest of their artillery. Get the rest of my infantry into position. Oh, they routed off that flank. It's fine. I still kind of have a good envelopment going on here. Look at this point blank brouhaha. It's like, are you kidding me? Like paintings are made of this kind of stuff. Are they finally charging? They got their bayonets out. They're thinking about it. No, they're routing. What? Oh, because of the flanking fire. Yes. That group's routing. Oh. Oh. General's gotten a hold of the other artillery piece and is routing them. should keep my general out of the rest of this engagement. There's all this infantry, not much left for them to do. Where are you guys going? I probably gave them an attack order, that's fair. Uh, if you guys are going to move that, you better get your bayonets out. general chase off some of their infantry. Let's put some shots into the back of this group engaged in melee. Let's see if this is effective. My guys are definitely going to lose this fight. But the bullets got a couple. They got a couple. My infantry lines are definitely running ragged right now. Uh oh, they regrouped. This might not be a good charge. Nope, that was a bad charge. Bad charge. Get out, get out, get out. Run away. Run away. Oh, they were starting to waver though. Oh my goodness! And that just chain routed them. Another heroic victory. Okay. The more comfort, the less courage there is. Prince Alexander V. Suvorov, Count of Rymnik, Russian general. Actually, you know, that might apply for this battle. It was snowing. They couldn't have been comfortable. That again, that would mean they would have had more courage. Well, that, that applied to my troops then. <laughs> Alright. Another victory. Another 300 something dead Denmarkians. Okay, Austria is not pushing the advantage. Alright, so that's going to be the end of my episode. Once this turn ends over, I'll save the game. <sighs> I'm going to have to get that army replenished somehow. We'll see how much money I make. Oof, what a battle. Sweden's moving away from Copenhagen. It's great news. Ratha's really moving up on Persia. This might end one of my trade alliances. Can't tell if Maratha won that or not. It looks like they did on the minimap. Yeah, they definitely took over Persia. So there goes one of my trade alliances. Alright. Technology theft failed. Cannons recruited. Wars declared between Spain and Austria. Oh, that's some good news right there. I made a pretty pile of money that turn, too. 
Um, oh man. Not enough to repair that. Anyway, I'm going to save this scenario and we're going to come back to it. Um, no longer trading with, with Persia. That's unfortunate. But they do have Azerbaijan, but I know I don't have a trade route that goes all the way out there. <sighs> wow. Just wow. All of this nonsense going on. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day.